Class Tech News, and today we're going to be exploring how materialistic the upper class is, how hard it is to achieve the American dream, and how it's not possible to live in the past. Hello, Mr. Gatsby, and welcome to 60 Minutes. Do you mind if you get straight into the questions? You're not at all, old sport. So, Gatsby, what consists of the American dream? And does wealth play a big factor in achieving the American dream? Well, old sport. The American dream changes from person to person. For my case, my American dream was to rekindle my relationship with Daisy. I wanted to experience that love I had with her five years ago. And for those five years, my American dream was to see her again. But you know how I am. I'm wealthy, I have a mansion, hold a party every week. But does that interest her at all? No. In fact, I don't even think wealth plays a part in my achieving the American dream. So, all in all, to answer your question, the American dream is protein and it changes from person to person. So, in my case, it did not play a role in my achieving the American dream, but who knows, for some other person, it may be there. So, Gatsby, what defines happiness? Well, old sport, the definition of happiness changes, but it's at the core of every American dream. And just like the American dream, it varies from person to person. You see, a person in the Valley of Ashes will have a completely different definition of happiness from mine. For me, even though I am the wealthiest person in West Egg, wealth is not part of my definition of happiness. In fact, the only thing in my happiness is love. Love for Daisy. I want her to love me back. I want to love her as much as I did five years ago. That is my definition of happiness. But the people in the Valley of Ashes, their definition of happiness is probably just my material possessions. What do you think, Mr. Carraway? About what? They're real. The books. They're real. They're absolutely real. All of them. The cardboard. The pages. This one. The ink. <laughs> the binding. So, Nick Carraway, your neighbor, and also arguably your best friend, while you spent time in West Egg, commented that you paid a high price for living too long with a single dream. Um, do you care to explain? Well, old sport, I do have to admit, looking back into the past, when Nick said that about me, I was very obsessed with that pursuit of the American dream. That pursuit of the single dream of seeing Daisy again. But now that I look back, I feel I was being hard-headed. There were infinite opportunities lying straight ahead of me. I was just too stubborn to look ahead of me. I was obsessed with 
looking behind at my past. I was obsessed with trying to bring Daisy back from the past. And that's nonsense. And I do realize now that Nick was right when he said, you cannot live the past. Hey Daisy, how about some music? Hey Clip Springer, old sport. Yes? Come down here and play some music for us. Alright, I was sleeping. You can play anything on the piano. You know, Daisy, Clip Springer is my favorite servant. I can trust you with anything, can I, old sport? Yes, sir. Hello, is this Clip Springer? It sure is. This is Nick Carraway. Remember Gatsby, your old pal? Yes, whatever. Sorry to say this, but unfortunately he passed away last night. Well, that's a shame. It is indeed. Can you make it to his funeral? I don't think I could, but I'll just forget a pair to make you that house. Could you send them to me? What did you say? And this summarizes our great Gatsby coverage. Thank you for tuning in from all of us at West Egg News.